gonna change the world with my hockey stick gonna make a real difference feed the poor and heal Welcome back to the Puck Daddy Podcast. Let's go. Welcome back. Hope you're all having a beautiful week. It's pretty much the end of minor hockey. Is it? It is, yeah. Already? Yeah, Mason. Some teams were starting in a different... Some teams no, no. are wrapping up in Ontario anyways, the OMHA Finals. Oh yeah, that's true. Big shout out to the U11 team who won their regionals and are going on. To win some red hats. In Oro? In Oro. Yeah. The Oro Thunder. Ooh, thunder. Whoa. And also a huge shout out to the U9 team. That's Mason's team. Mason's team, team, yeah. Who won the regional championship. And also the MD team who won the regional championship. What is this Oro Thunder? Oh. They're going to be moving up to chip chip stats here soon. with the back in the team over there, Jer. Oh, a huge round of applause. He's holding a few AAA players. uh, Yeah, yeah. Jer's been scouting. He's been been using social platforms to stack the team, (laughs) eh? Oh, we, we got a good bunch of coaches. Let me just tell you that. Yeah, not yeah, it's players. all in the coaches. Not the players, eh? Well, <laughs> the coaches certainly are helping these players uh, play to their fullest potential. Develop. Yes. yes. Dude, I'm telling you, these coaches, extra ice time. All, and the organization, too. Like, they care. They give us the ice time, right? They're, they're like, you want to go on the 6 a.m., 7 a.m.? Sure, let's do it. They prioritize the they, minor they're hockey. They're up early, eh? I was up early today, 540. How fun are those 540, buddy. buddy. <laughs> but you know what? The kids are showing up, and they're putting in the work, and they're getting that extra skating, extra shooting, extra sticking. It helps when they're young, man. It helps when they're young. And the coaches run really great practices, and it goes a long way. because This I was... is like a week after playing the championships, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no break. No yeah, days no, off. Right they, they already all won. The... <laughs> well, we had one more, one more early morning one, and the kids all, like most of the kids showed up, and, and we just had a fun, like, I would be in bed. Sounds know. like you're in bed. He's thinking about 6 a.m. right it's now. It's 12.51, and I'm feeling like this is early. <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, I don't know. Now it's time to go on vacation because I don't have more any more practices or playoffs. Yeah. So, are you gonna do a remote pod while you're away? Where, just no. where you're going? You should run no. the PA. No, no, no it's off, no. buddy. <laughs> just doesn't matter if you're on vacation. Don't even message me. Still tune in. <laughs> no. Oh, Come no. on for the puck daddy. No. Oh, from the beach. Yeah, from the beach. Okay. Just Jer from the beach. Just just pretend I'm in a coma. Okay. Pretend that I've been in a coma and then I'm. That's so boo. That's no style. No style. No style you, uh, prioritizing family time, bud. Ah, Sometimes you just got to turn off the work thing. And I plan to not do anything. I plan to just be with my family. I hang out with the kids. That's not, not allowed. have any distractions. You're not allowed to do that. All right. That's illegal. And <laughs> pamper the wife. Just spend, just listen. You know, when she talks, just listen. And not be thinking about what I'm going to talk about on the pod. Is that oh, what you normally oh, say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Such a difficult job oh. talking on a pod. <laughs> no, in all honesty, Jer deserves a vacation. So, uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. We so, will, honestly, uh, so does Coach Chippy. Mm. No, you can't do it at the same time. That's against the Puck Daddy Well, maybe code, it works man. better if we all just take the, take the same days. Uh, oh, fair, uh, yeah. Puck Daddy we'll vacation just, We'll just join Jer. Hey, we'll just buy a plane yeah, ticket. Yeah, we're uh, I'm going. trying to get away from you guys. <laughs> yeah, same, actually. It's I, called a getaway for a reason. Couldn't oh. be near you guys. <laughs> All right, before we get into clips of the week, I just wanted to uh, say, because we don't do this enough, you puck daddies out there, do us a favor if you're listening on oh, Spotify, yeah. Amazon, leave us a review. Right now. Are, are those important? <laughs> yeah, because they help rank us on the platform, oh. right? Yeah, so, are, are we, tra- are we like trying to rank? Listening to our voices yeah. speak. Oh. <laughs> I thought we were just going to like... Leave us a review. I thought we were just going to shoot to number one overall, just... You know, by just put, post and publish. We came, we came pretty close for a while there when we first launched, but that was like the beginner's luck, I think. All right, yeah. well, <laughs> may, maybe we need a little help. Maybe we need a little help. Yeah. Eh? So if you want to help us out, leave us a review. Yeah. Drop a comment on YouTube. Like the video. Subscribe if you're you on YouTube. You know what? If, Share it with a friend. Be it, like, yo, have you guys heard these yeah. three awesome guys talking every week? Yeah. Man, uh, you can't miss out on what they have to say. If yeah. you're driving right now, just uh, give the phone to your kid <laughs> and tell them to give us a five star review, and they can write whatever they want. You just yeah. leave that up to them. <laughs> and and if you don't have uh, a child to you know make them do your work, then just hit the four way flashers on your vehicle, pull over, <laughs> right, and uh, just leave a quick. It only take a minute. It'll yeah. Take a minute. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Clips of the week. You guys got something? Oh yeah. Who wants to go first here? Jerry, you want to go first? We should give a hat away for like the funniest review. 
that someone leaves. Yeah, if someone leaves a <laughs> so review. If we find one that we really like. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea, yeah. <laughs> Let's do that, actually. I'll do that. All right, we'll, give, we'll send out a hat. We'll send out a hat. We'll, we'll check the reviews, like, what, next week or give them a few weeks? I'll give them a, f- a couple weeks. We have to do, like, a month long, eh? <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll beg you every week to leave reviews. <laughs> leave a review right now. Stop everything that you're doing. All right, Jer, what's your clip of the week here? Clip of the week. This one's tough. Uh, let's let's go with the uh, this kid that tries to break a stick over his knee. Yeah. Uh, I guess he's he's upset. He's getting kicked out of the game. He's just had enough. Right, he's gonna show everyone how angry he is. So he takes his stick and he he cranks it over his knee. Right. Oh, well, looks like he got that sixty flex. It ain't it ain't breaking. Ugh, give it another one. Give it another one. Other knee. Whoop. Oh, that's. Imp- <laughs> I'll share the screen luck. here it's so that everyone. Can. <laughs> so he he gives it one good yank on the first knee. Nah, it didn't work. Switches knees. Gives a nice long pull. Yeah. <laughs> he yanks himself oh, right over. It's okay. Man, We've been there. Here we go. Actually, I haven't been there. I just said that, but I've Whoop. never been in that situation. Oh. <laughs> so he's skating towards the door to because he got ejected, trying to break his stick, <laughs> and then just like bows it like a bow and arrow well, on is, his knee, and then wipes out. Thinking in the stands. Oh, that's great. Oh, I might have to stitch that. I'll tell you what Dad's thinking in the stands. Your dad's thinking I'm so glad that I got my phone and recorded this because I am going to show it to him. I'm going to bring this up every time. Every time he meets a new friend, this oh, is going straight to TSN. Oh yeah. He's, <laughs> But his his kid gets off the bench. Oh. But I, I already sent it to Bar down. Top comment. Look at the top comment. It was, "Do you know who my dad is?" Type of kid. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right, Chip. What's your, what's your uh, one? My first clip here. I came up with a skit idea today after I saw Zach Hyman had fifty goals on the season. Oh, congratulations! Oh. And this is a mic'd up, my. He's mic'd up clip of Hyman scoring his 50th goal. Oh, he's mic'd. I didn't hear this one. Let's share the screen. Where's, where's the volume on this one? Crank it, Hayden. There's volume. <laughs> what is that? Sounds like a Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Hyman off the draw. It's like a close-up of him, and he just doesn't really do okay, anything. Up, Hayden. You're talking over my clip. <laughs> it's too loud, Jack. Too loud. So... Just great appreciation. Great pass. Thank you. Let's go! Showing the appreciation to all the boys. It's the big 5 0, right? Yeah, 50. Oh, Perry in there. What are all those stars and the beeping noises? Damn, baby. <laughs> I didn't realize you had the full clip of, of um, him mic'd up. Yeah, I thought I thought it was just like showing showing the goal. Oh no, no, yeah. I that's up. why he prefaced it by saying the mic'd up clip. Ah, yes. I didn't hear that. Part. Yeah. Hayden doesn't listen to me often. <laughs> Tunes out when I speak. Uh, what do he say? What do he say? It would have been wrong if you weren't in the crease. Oh, that's <laughs> perfect. That's that. Even though I didn't watch the whole clip. That's good. That's good. No, Perry calls him out because it, they released a, a map of um, they where were, all of his goals came yeah, from. Yeah, a map of where all his goals came from. And they're all in the like thirty five in the crease, uh, about ten more like a little bit above. He never he he, he doesn't shoot above the circles. This okay. guy will not not release the puck from above the circles. Right, he's all in the I crease. Need, that's what home. I mean. I need to do a skit on like Hyman, just tapping pucks in all season. Like, yep. I don't know what what should the title be. Hyman playing with Nick. Davis. Easiest fifty goals he's ever. Hyman scored. every Hyman goal every. Er, Top ten Hyman goals of the season. Yeah, highlight, yeah, yeah. Highlight real goals from Hyman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, and it's just McDavid dangling through everyone and passing it to him. <laughs> like, how do I? Would, how, I gotta film it. I'm gonna have like a mini stick net. So it's like, how do I film it? You, yeah, you know, you need to have McDavid doing all kinds of like magician type stuff. Oh, and then yeah, Hyman, okay. Hyman just standing next to the mini net, like going like this, like smiling and like nodding his head. Yeah, uh-huh. and just uh-huh. the puck just comes uh-huh. and bounces uh-huh. on his uh-huh. stick. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then it just <laughs> bounces off and goes in. Yeah, and he's then like the, a pinball rocker. He's just smacking the ball, yeah. <laughs> and then and then the next one's like dry side. And he's just like wheeling, skating so I'll hard, trying ball, to get I'll open. Have the, I'll have the ball taped to the mini stick, and like yeah. just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and and then like so dry side doing all the work, like working it, push, pushing a guy out, out uh, you yeah, know, yeah. walking off the half wall, and then like he fakes a huge slap or slides it over him and goes dunk. <laughs> right? That's, no, that's joke. Set, yeah, all right, 
Jerry, you got another clip here. It looks like Kuznetsov. Uh, yeah, fellow Russian. I'm I'm not good at this. So. You're Russian? Oh, I didn't know that. No, just... You're a Russian? Because uh, he's talking about Samsonov. So it's a, oh, yes. a fellow Russian. Mm. I am Dutch. Ah, Actually, like... You're 90, probably part Russian. 99%. I'm no Finnish. We're all human. Oh, no Finnish. Lots of Sweden. <laughs> Lots of Swedish, but not no Finnish. <laughs> all right. Uh, what is this clip here? So, so basically, he's saying, uh, Kuzi is saying, you guys have been so hard in general on the players here. I'm happy he doesn't speak English well, so he doesn't understand anything. So basically, he's talking about how hard the media is on Samsonov. In Toronto. Yes. Right. And he's like, I'm glad he doesn't speak English. <laughs> One second, just play, play the clip here. And, oh, you got it up already? I got it, yeah. On mute. Like, uh, Samsonov here in Toronto, he's, he's very well liked here now. Yeah, you guys been so hard and the players in general here and, and over the time and, and I'm so happy he, that he doesn't speak English well <laughs> so he doesn't understand everything and, and that's huge for him. That's huge I for think, him. Uh, there is a lot of talks about hockey and team yeah, in yeah. general, right? That's that's life here. Yeah, yeah. More than life for me probably, right? right, and, right and, yeah. and I'm so happy that he, he doesn't watch that all the time. He doesn't read everything which is which is pretty hard to do sometimes yeah. and I'm staying off social media like over that. 61 day. I have no idea what's outside of the, this locker room. Yeah. I have no idea what's the trade like, so who's playing where, and, and it's kind of nice to live on the other side. That's a good oh, mentality for, yeah. for him to have um, coming back into the NHL after being like waived, right? Because oh, yeah. you don't want to be checking social media when oh. you're like about to play for the Hershey Bears. And Yeah, that's nails. You know, but yeah. you hear what he says? And, and, and the smile he had on his face when he hit, said, 61 days he's counting the days dude like that's a he's he's on the program right i mean that's how people count like if how long how many days they haven't had an, a drink he's counting how many days he hasn't been on social media 61 days big smile it's kind of nice to be on the other side right yo that's that's so, deep yeah. like, this is a turnaround story. i don't even know that might be the hardest thing to do in this 2024 era that's harder than quitting Alcohol, it would be, dude. I've, drugs. I've easily put, uh, I've done like dry months, right? Where just for no reason, I'm like, yeah, I'm just not going to. And, and I don't, it's not like I drink a lot, but I enjoy a beer with That's dinner. I mean, like the phone's the biggest drug we have, bro. That's, mm-hmm. that was deep. Yeah. I didn't even it, listen it to It came across thing. as light, like the way he was delivering it. But when you read into the message, it's actually like, it's almost like it's, nice tell, it's, the other it's side. opening up to his story of like his oh. men, his struggle right now that he's going through, right? Yeah, but and or coming out the other side of it. So it, yeah, saying, yeah, two two layers there, right? Because yeah. number one, it's like it's funny that I'm glad Samson doesn't speak English very well. Yeah, so which is almost a superpower if you're in Toronto because goaltending. Let's be honest, the highest pressure position that you can play. Mm-hmm. There's a yeah, lot the of most pressure. scrutinized and position too. Most scrutinized, and in Toronto the highest pressure city to play in. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it is an advantage that he's not tuning in, doesn't really understand <laughs> all the bad things everyone can say it about him at any point in time. Probably wouldn't have came back from being waived if uh if he didn't do that. <laughs> well actually these are two guys that are turning around, right? Samsonov yeah. went down to the HL and, and so did Kuznetsov. Went down to the HL. I think it was more like a mental health break. It was, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was uh um the, the Leafs were looking out for him, right? Yeah. Both, and both these guys out. and Hey, let's let's talk about the mental side of social media, right? He's off social media, and and uh, Samsonov doesn't really understand the English side of it, anyways. Right. Both saying that it's helping their mental health mm. in a way, right? Oh, yeah. I bet you in multiple facets of life. Yep. It's just helping quality of life, probably. Well, there's my clip of the week. I there's like, another. I like the beginning. There's another here. end here to the yeah. comment. But not tonight. Not tonight. You don't think tonight? No. When he's at his best, you've seen him at a high level. No, I haven't seen him at the best. <laughs> <laughs> because the best games is ahead of him. Oh, I believe that best, best, his best games is ahead of him. And, and that's a friend, right? I'm pretty right sure there. the people will see his best version. And. Uh, if he can get confident inside of the blue thing and he's staying inside, he never played the puck because he can't play the puck. <laughs> and, yeah, it's accidentally. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's all fun part, but, you know, I think if he can get comfortable over there, you guys could, could have a good goal. It's both of them, right? Two, go, two goalies is good, and uh, that's a privilege those these days to have a, two good goalies. Yo, I'm like, so happy he said that because I always I come up to the office and say to Hayden, I'm like, why does Samsonov like slide so far out of his crease? Yeah, and then he has to slide so far back. He always puts himself just like 
stay at the top of the paint and and it's funny that he pointed that out yeah he can't play the so if he stays inside that blue that blue thing, thing. <laughs> blue tank yeah blue tank that's, uh, my, that's my clip of the week all right i there's a, a few topics i want to get into here um have you guys heard about the amazon prime series I coming out on the nhl players that. yeah on like they're gonna just follow 15 nhl players so, well so here's the thing i think that they're gonna follow more than that but it'll be like somewhere between 10 to 15 that they actually feature in the show. So it's going to be a Kardashian So it show. depends on like they're going to get some they're going to get some drama of some sort because they're following is like a lot more players are they looking taking for the best drama? ones. Oh, I see. No, like it's a numbers thing. If you follow more people around, you're going to get better stories nah. with some that open up versus others. But like it's a huge waste of time to follow 30. Oh, no, they'll have to accept it. The players will That's have to saying, like, accept right? it and well, that so here's so the, the, it's going to be the guys that want to be. The I tell you, if, guys. If, if they pick fifteen, they could make something out of all fifteen. That's a lot of footage to work with. Some people, like I'd say, of the fifteen, some just might have a different storyline. And, and so, who would one. you want to be? It would be Matthews, Jack Hughes, McDavid. My number one, Pasternak. Pasta. Pasta because he's funny. Mm. He's a funny dude. Yes. Right? Yeah. I want. I want to see what he does in his day to day. Who else is known in the league for being like funny? Mm. Oh, uh, Seth Jarvis. Oh, Seth Jarvis. Jarvis. His dry yeah. humor is funny. I'd. Lo- I'd want to yeah. see Brent yeah. Burns. Burnsy. Cause, yeah. Because Brent Burns is just Yo, like fishing or something. Yes. Like, hunting exactly. and on the ranch. Yeah. He packs like a full army like bag every and, and like three suitcases every time he goes. Willie Lander, give me Willie Lander. Neat, yeah. Willie Styles. I was you, it's like Style you read my show. mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see different personalities. That's what I would want. Like, yeah, I, I want to see what they do on a day to day outside the rink. Like I, I want to f- see fifteen guys that are doing completely different things. Bedard, well, obviously. Like, but here's oh, the thing. Oh yeah, give me a Bedard that that doesn't eat candy and. Has never su- touched junk food. As they're life. gonna follow. They're gonna follow. I'm. I'm telling this as like a fact because okay. they're gonna follow more players than what they feature in the end show, okay. so that they can follow the narratives that are best suited to like basically have the most traction. Right. Because like certain teams are gonna do well in the year and others won't. But is it about the teams? I, I want. It's it about, about both sides of it. But like, yeah. there's the drama of like playing well versus not. Yeah. And like, they're pro- if say Matthews goes next year and has a killer year and gets 70 goals yeah. something. They're going to follow that. Or the vice versa. He goes and he has his worst goal-scoring year of the thing. It's like either way, there's there's a, a bit of a but can the players, tie to the game, tie players to the can team. Veto be like, I don't want this on. No, that's the thing. There's the, It's like it's going to be mandated from the NHL level. So it, are the players getting a little uh, uh, paycheck, NHLPA. a little bonus? Oh, 100%. A bonus? I have no idea. Pro- no I, way they're not. They got to. Because the NHLPA yeah. would, I would think agree so. with that. Yeah. Well, the it's association would say, nah, we're good. Give me some royalties. Basically, there's there's uh, bread. there's lines in the CBA that dictate f- what, like the NHL can have them do certain media things, and it's but a this part seems of the job. like more than right. certain. Yeah. Media. All of a sudden, you're keeping up with the Kardashians, yeah. Yeah. and and that's like within. Oh yeah, we can just. Make you do that? I heard on the a little much on the Steve Dangle podcast. I'm not sure what their what the original source was, but they so this is like paraphrasing from paraphrasing. But they said that Bettman sent out like a GM wide email, basically saying, "Okay, it's not an understatement to say that, or not an overstatement to say that the future of the game depends on you guys not vetoing all this stuff and making it actually an important part of the thing." Okay. Okay. I do not think the future of the game depends on an Amazon Amazon Prime series. I do. <laughs> it does. It's, it does, it, It's Jared. bringing in it new does, fans, Jared. dude. Guy, hockey is growing. Coach Chippy is growing the game out here with these little skits I've been doing. All right? It's the social media aspect of making the game. Think about this, Jared. Will, will it, people, will I mean, it help? Like, will it help? Yes. It will help. It's absolutely needed, bro. Dude, if the okay, Prime so series doesn't get made, the game's gonna the NHL it's is gonna, gonna stay continue. where it's at, bro. Jer's Jer's Jer still zero stagnant. idea what's yeah. going on. Absolutely, no. you don't understand the social media division. I understand it all. Oh my god, Jer, I'm not saying it's the game's gonna massive just for the game. Hear, bro. hear me out for a sec. He's ma- you made it sound like Batman says uh, you all won't have jobs if you don't do this no, series. Oh no, no, dude. There's a difference between the future of the game that they envision 
to be actually competitive with the major sports. Okay, I, I'll agree with they're that. They're trying one. to turn. They're the trying to grow the game. Yeah, they want yes. the players to be stars. Yes. Yeah. That's the idea with the Prime yes. series is to people yes. will actually follow these people on Instagram, maybe not for hockey, but because oh. they're influencers now. Dude, yeah. it's wild. The the NHL and the drama. The yeah. NHL player with like Buy the most tickets to go watch them play, right? Yeah, yeah. I know. I I'll agree with that. Um, the future of like the media side of the game depends on this for sure. No, like the future of literally, like, okay, where does mon- the money come from when it, in terms of like how they can increase the salary cap? It comes from t- advertising, t- t- tickets, ticket sales, and advertising, and deals with um, the networks and all that. So stuff. traditionally, the NHL has been a very gate-driven league. Yep. But that's not what's grown all the other sports. It's been from fans becoming f- new fans to the game that discover the game because they they really like one player. Yes. Or a multi, or a couple like players, example, or the drama. Yeah, like in the NBA, they'll you'll have guys that yeah, Kyrie Irving. Some people love Kyrie, Steph Curry. Steph Curry mm-hmm. became a international superstar. Yeah, hockey players love him. Yeah, or the Drive to Survive, like the F one series. Yeah. Like I didn't know anything about F one, and just because of that series, I know I now enjoy F one. Yeah, right. look, without ever I, watching I, it prior. I, I looked up the uh, revenue of each league. Uh, we got the NFL at 18 billion. We got Major League Baseball at 11 billion. Mm-hmm. NBA at 9 billion. Premier League at 6 billion. And the NHL at 6 billion. Yeah. So they're, they're doing decent. Uh, they're, they're, I think that that revenue has grown like year after year. So they're a growing league. And I will agree that this will help grow the league more, but it's a little... So would that not be agreeing that the future of the game depends on on them opening up the when, when it sound, stories of the uh, individual the of the players? Gro- the growth of the game. The growth of the game depends on it. Which yeah. is exactly... Which is the future. The future of the game. <laughs> not really. It's like, it will grow. It will hockey grow. will always be Jared's here. Just, Jared's hockey just stubborn because always... he doesn't... He's like, no, hockey is great and it doesn't matter if we do a show on it. Hockey will always be here. I just don't think this Amazon Prime thing will have that big of a deal. Like, Bro, but when's the last time you saw an NHL player on Prime, on Netflix? They, they like, do a series actually, every year. Look at Michael Jordan. Look at... They do a series of every team. They do the, the oil... The Those blue, are blue produced print. by the teams, though, not by an external party. Like that Netflix or... Yeah. Has like something that's never been done? No. When is when have you seen any across of, multiple didn't the players Leafs get the Amazon deal? That was specifically for the Leafs only, not for the whole NHL. Yeah, and it was did and it, it was did. and basically like half of the stuff that happened so, was so, nixed by the Leafs. They didn't right. let it get into so the show, which did, they're not allowed to do. With did the, the future of the Toronto Maple Leafs depend on that Amazon series? Well, they could have grown a lot more if they actually showed when they lost to Montreal that the players gave a crap. You yeah. know, like they could like, have. You could have yeah. felt. You could have like enjoyed. Um, or sympathized with them more if they actually showed some of their I'm, raw emotions. I'm, I'm just saying they could put this out and then only the people who already watch the NHL watch it and they say, oh, that was neat, and then just go on their way. But that's the thing. It's designed to not it's be designed, just for it's the... It's probably designed right. to already. farm the, the TikTok clips, bro. So you get like an hour-long episode, yep. but then the TikTok clips get farmed mm-hmm. onto TikTok. So now you have yeah, it'll 500 videos yeah. about Austin Matthews instead of... Mm-hmm. Yes. So the point is to show the personalities. Yes. Exactly. Is yeah. to make has this done be make the players in into celebrities. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The F one. Look. They did. They did. Uh, oh. Okay. Yes. I've heard. Drive to this. survive. Yeah. They did the the golf one. Full swing. Okay. Like, so it's, it's that. It's same a proven thing. formula that shows that new fans will be brought to a sport based yeah. on these TV series. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And if Amazon's taking it on, they're going to do it right. You oh know? yeah. Yeah. And, like, literally, like that's what I was saying. Ma- Batman went to the GMs and was like, okay, there's no more of this, like, yeah, no, we don't we don't want this to be interviewed. Like, we don't right. want this on camera. Or, like, they get, like, the final say. No, it's going on the NHL level. Like, I, I appreciate him going to bat for something more, a little more progressive. It seems unlike Gary Batman. That's yeah. why I think it's, like, actually going to change. Like, it's, yes. Yeah. Like, like it's a good step. see in the social media aspect of it, and it's like. Yeah. Imagine seeing Matthews linking up at a Bieber concert. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? It's documented. He's hopping on the private jet. We're just going over to L.A. to link up at Bieber's backyard. Well, like in between games. No, that, show, everyone, like, the whole, I just don't care. That is. I just don't care. You don't care. Yeah, I know. Not the audience, bro. Yeah. Wow. You, you know? I'm part of the audience. Jared just but popped the, some kombucha on. We're looking, it finally we're did looking cool to that. attract the, you know, the up-and-coming generations to watch hockey. Mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah. What are you drinking over there? 
kombucha. kombucha. What is that? You know how many times Jer has pulled out the kombucha and be like, Hayden, come check this out. It's going <laughs> to look at this. It's going to, because you know, when you have kombucha, it's like carbonating I know what itself. Is. It, I will talk to JT. Um, and he goes to show me, he's like, listen, it's going to pop. Like, this is going to be so cool. And then he goes and it's like, Shh. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you got me all hyped Smell up for that. Like... And then he does it just now, and it actually popped. I saw it, though. It's perfect. <laughs> What's in there? It's like uh, a mixture of stuff. I don't even kombucha know. Kombucha is... I don't, drink it. I don't like it. Oh. It's, so it, there's ginger and some pineapple juice, but it's mixed with tea, but it's fermented. Mm. So it, it's uh He's really drinking good. bacteria right it's, now. Yes, it's good for your gut health. Yeah. Um, right, anyway, back, back on to uh, Hockey Talk. Yep. There was a GM meeting a week and a half ago. And there's some new rule changes that are going to be taking place. I'm not sure over what timeline. Some of them will be taking place immediately. Some will be, like, for next season. Um, wait, wait, immediately, like, for the playoffs immediately? I think so, yeah. I could be wrong on that. That's wild. Yeah. It's got to be next season. I guess it maybe it would be, it's next, be next season. season. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to go through some of the Hold up. rule changes Hold and up. stuff. D- d- I, I don't follow baseball, but apparently there's a new rule, rule in baseball. You guys follow no, it I, all? No, I don't know. Okay, I just saw a clip on Instagram. Basically, the uh, the b- first baseman, second baseman cannot block the base at all. They yeah. have to give a clear lane. So if they go like this and step in front of the base and then tag the guy out, yeah, it doesn't count. The the oh. they'll wave it off. I mean, that was already like a a gray area rule. Okay, like if you if you block the runner. Then it, then they get concede it. Yeah, but I guess they're just making it like if you're in the way at all when you go to tag them. Yes, that it, makes sense. It was wild. So like the clip I saw, second baseman catches it, and the guy is like three strides back, right? right? And he just goes like this and and reaches down, and touches him, and the coach goes or the whatever the, the umpire, the umpire, no, the uh, the guy at the second base, the umpire. Is that what it's called? An umpire? They're all umpires. Yeah. Oh, okay, whatever. So the yeah. the umpire. Waves it off and gives the guy the, the base, and it's like it was very clear that he would have been tagged out, right? But because the guy had his foot in front of the bag, he said no. I don't know because it wasn't a clear lane to go. I think it's because if their foot's there, then the guy is like trying to like maneuver around the tag. Yeah, he can't get to the base even if he tried. It just seems crazy if the ball gets there before the guy gets there. It's like a I don't know, pretty easy. Yeah, he, he would have been tagged, right? But anyways, that's uh, just base, another thing in baseball making it less gray area. Yeah, which the NHL could take some notes from because really? there's, there's a lot of gray areas with the, that, the ref that decisions. seems to me like it, it makes it um, I don't know more like less competitive. Well, think of it less this, competitive. No, no, think of it this way: There's, do you want to have more runs in a baseball game or less? More. So why make the rule uh, in the favor of less runs? Make it in the right. favor of more runs. Yeah, and the NHL should do the same thing. And they have been with the goals, like you. Remember, like there's a, few, a lot of goals. A few years ago, there wasn't the the um, the faceoff thing. Like the the centerman can choose which side the faceoff went on if the other team iced the puck. Oh. Now they can choose that. Oh, and yeah. there's like there's there in this these uh, rule changes. There's one thing that right, I thought go. was kind of subtle. Let's go through them. Um, I wanted to call attention to this one. Uh, where is it? It's after reverse I, hits. I, I saw players. Oh, reverse hits. Just wait. Just wait. And, and I saw players sitting on the board. Well, Hayden, you got to find it because I'm reading it now. I know. Just don't don't read Let it. Let me yet, read dude. them because well, we're, we're yeah, just now. You're like it's called teasing, protecting the the board when we're really mass stoppages, it. reverse hits. You guys are just wasting this possession, possession and control. Possession and control. No, because we're not reading the actual rule. <laughs> now that people are excited, they're tuned in, Hayden. Uh, Hayden's scrolling the screen, a... can't find what he's looking we're, for. We're teasing them. Delay of game. Player discipline. Uh, I know what the rule was. It's basically after um, th- there's an icing. Yeah. Instead of, because you know how like to get uh, some time to catch your breath, the center will just clearly violate the rule so that they get oh, yeah. kick- kicked out. Yeah. Or so that there's like a, a warning or whatever. Fairness on face-off is right there. The GMs propose that following an icing, the offensive center should get a warning as well before being tossed from a draw. Doesn't that extend the... No, it's basically... So instead of being like getting kicked out and then someone else has to skate in, take their time going in to take the face off, it's like you get a warning and then you have to do the draw right again. So there's less time between. I was like, that seems like such a nitpicky change. Like, how much of an impact is that going to have? It seems like I'd spam that more. Okay, cool. Now I get to waste time even more. I'll I'll cheat and then I'll cheat again and then let the winger come in. No, like it's basically like 
I, I guess if you're just cheating to win the draw. What if you just get the winger to line up and, and cheat twice, and then the actual centerman comes in? Yes, you're right. What would stop them from doing that? What would? Yeah. What if the defenseman then goes in, and then he cheats twice? <laughs> then you get a delay of game. Yeah, like if it's almost incentivizing the centerman or the winger, whoever's taking the draw, to cheat as much as possible because the worst thing that could happen is you get more breath. Yeah. And the best thing that can happen is you win the draw and get at the zo- get exit the zone. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. So I thought that one was funny. Uh, the next one was a uh, delay a game of the puck out of play. The coaches can challenge um, like and take down a penalty for puck out of play mm. or whatever because there's a lot of times where the, the ref calls it a like puck out, out of play and you can't challenge it. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's like deflected off of a guy. Or yeah, whatever. like it hits someone and you can't challenge it. That that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And uh, does it say about what the penalty? Like, if you get a penalty, if you get it wrong, like a double penalty. I think you go five on three if you. I I remember reading that somewhere, but it doesn't say that here, so I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. But basically, if you challenge a puck out of play penalty, mm-hmm. and you're wrong, then you go down an extra player. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's five the, on three. Yeah, five on three. If you get it, that's wrong. scary. So it's a lot of pressure on those video coaches. But they're good. They're good. Like, and they have multiple of them. Well, I just this. They're trying to stop you from reviewing these. Yeah, yeah. Offsides. Bro. But for something like that, yeah. some of them are so clear. You see in the replay, and be like, okay, that went off like someone else's stick. It didn't go clear out, right? So right. Yeah, that's a good rule. Um, line change after a net dislodged. Um, so if the goalie knocks the net off, you're not allowed to line yeah, change. The defending team can't make a line change. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which like kind of makes sense. That's like a men's league trick right there. Knock the net off, get a whistle. Chip, <laughs> we, we keeping you up over there? <laughs> maybe next time point the microphone Chip, away from He's exhausted. Hey, maybe if you have to yawn, just... No, point the mic over here. Jerry can't hear you. You put the mic Exactly. Down. My point there, Chipper. No. Maybe one of these. Oh, look, look. Look, we could have just ignored it, but look, we went no. all the way into Let's talk about yawns if we want to. <laughs> um, refusal to play the puck. So you know when there's like a delayed penalty yeah. and the people don't, like they refuse to touch the puck, huh? the, the GMs agreed to move the puck like just to a f- neutral zone face-off uh. instead of like in the offensive zone, which is interesting. How often is a refusal I know, it's to like, play the puck? That is not, I, I just often. imagine being a fly on the wall of these meetings, how just – there's one guy. There's one guy who's just hard about this one. He's like, I need this to be implemented because <laughs> it happened once in '83. Yeah. Um. Uh, this one, I before we uh, move on because I there's a lot here. We don't need to go. Oh, I like all. the reverse hits but one. The coaches challenged for high sticking, mm-hmm. minor penalty. The rule change. The GMs agree that teams should have the ability to fix a minor penalty for high sticking through a coach's challenge, but only when a player is struck by a teammate stick. The puck or his own stick. Hmm. Interesting. That's, hmm. So, like, basically, they can nix a penalty if it was from their own team, the puck or his own stick, because it can be confused. How about the rule for the high stick? Like, bleeding is the only determinant. I love that. <laughs> like, I love what that. happens if Wilson gets a eye like smacked in the eye no, or something? No, what's his face <laughs> hits Gregor and Wilson doesn't bleed. That's a he That's could a shatter his. He could shatter his eye socket, but he wouldn't bleed from it. You know what I mean? You could break some break sensitive a, an bones. An orbital bone. Yeah. But it doesn't count because there's no blood. Like, yeah, the bones inside his face. Like... His... To be fair, they um, were going to give him a five-minute major for that, and then they brought it down to a double minor. Isn't hockey? Because he literally was bleeding and missing like two like chip How does he not get a five if he got six games? How does he not, how did he not review that and say he's out of the game? Yeah, so that was my next topic, actually. So let's oh, talk about it. Wait, that. wait. Isn't... I, I, I want to talk about that on the rule. Isn't hockey the toughest game where it's a two-minute penalty for smacking someone in the face, and they add an extra two if the guy's bleeding? bleeding. It's what other sport has it if rule. you're bleeding rule? And if you're bleeding rule, yeah. <laughs> it's great. Not even the UFC has that. <laughs> That's, yeah, you're, uh, this reverse hit, the GMs agree that the standard is fine where it is now. So they talked about reverse hit. It's hits. not a change. It's, it's just, just the... No, but I think that's it was an issue people were talking about like oh reverse hitting so it's it's cool to see that everyone's like nah we're good yeah, yeah. Like a reverse it's not a, hit. you're bracing for your yeah. hit and the guy's coming to hit you you're gonna just put him on his bum so yeah, if you're going to lay a hit you should be ready for a reverse hit reverse you hits are the greatest thing to ever happen hockey the only thing that sucks when it happens is when someone's not trying to lay a hit but the guy does a reverse hit thinking that he is so then you catch him off guard 
and it looks bad when that happens, but yeah. it's like that's it's still strong on, the on his player. feet. Because a reverse hit, you cannot be moving on a reverse hit. You're actually flat footed. Yeah, yeah. So like you're stopping the guy up. Well, some of them, it's like they're going towards the boards for the puck, and, then they and stop. the guy's chasing, and then they stop and, and hit him, and then oh. go and get the. Well, puck. when and yeah. when these guys are like squatting like 500 pounds and. You know they they can oh. they can get some explosive power from I that. I love yeah. reverse hits. Bend down and bop. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so Tom Wilson gets six games. Chippy, you mentioned that a second ago. But doesn't get a five minute for wrapping. Well, doesn't make any sense. The stick around some Noah Gregor's face like a spaghetti noodle. <laughs> he like t- wielded that stick like a lightsaber or like a katana and like swung it towards his head and then immediately acted like the big brother that's like oh, yeah. oh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry like don't get don't tell mom oh, and dad go tell the teacher tell the teacher yeah you know what it looked like to me it, it looked like to me like he just murked him and then he goes oh. sleep Sleep. <laughs> you know, he murks like, him, and you just immediately like, like damn! He, I just does hit it, him in the face. It, with it's a like stick. in a spy movie when it's like you're like, Doof, and then you help the guy to the ground so the body doesn't make a loud noise hitting the ground. Well, but immediately, it's like he's, a stealth murder. But like immediately, he's got one hand up and he's looking at the ref like. Oh. It's like he, he's trying to let him down so that's the ref. Probably why it wasn't a five. Because he was acting all apologetic. Yeah, yeah. Apologetic. Well, it was one of those things where he was clearly like. He was trying to hit him with his stick, but maybe not right in the mouth. Yeah, maybe that's know? like like over the wrist or something. Like you're trying to. Just... He's, he's trying to give him a smack in the shoulder or something, which is still like not cool. But if he doesn't hit him in the mouth, no one's even saying anything about it. Just... So then it happens, and he's like, "Oh my gosh, that was bad. That's gonna look bad. I better like act apologetic here. Like I really messed up." I you just know, smacked him in the. Face. I want. Yeah. Did, did we get a clip from Noah Gregor? It's like when you're. What he said. It's like when you're a kid. What did Noah Gregor say? And you and you. I don't know. If you're a kid, you lash out to your parents and then immediately know you messed up. That's what it looked like. I don't know. I think he was just whispering. Yes. Shh. Sleep. No. <laughs> just, uh, he was. <laughs> uh, don't say anything to the ref. <laughs> don't you say a word. Sorry. Did you? Did either of you have anything else to say on that? I can't. No. 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 Yeah. I would just love to hear what six games. What Wilson was saying after he smashed him right in the face. Do you like, think it's fair that he got more games than Riley? Yeah. Well, the repeat offender is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're getting a bit of reputation. Going to get like minimum three just for just getting for... anything now. Yeah. Just because how many times he's been suspended. Every five-minute major from Tom Wilson is reviewed for sus- potential suspension. If, <laughs> if I'm watching that clip and comparing it to Riley's, it looks worse. Tom Wilson's looks worse. It's funny because when, fir- when I saw it at first in full speed, it didn't even look that bad. And then you watch it in slow motion, you're like, oh, yeah, he, oh. Re- he smacked him. Yeah, you get in frame by frame, and you can really see that stick bend. Yeah. yeah. Um, moving on, Leafs talk here. There's a guy in the Leafs that I've been wanting to talk about for a while, and it's kind of funny timing that he went and scored two goals on Saturday against uh, Edmonton. Uh, Bobby Mick the man. I was wanting to say that I think he's going to be a great depth piece for some depth scoring in the Leafs during the playoffs because historically the Leafs have died on the hill that their stars need to score, which they still do. But every now and then you need a goal from that third line oh, or yeah. or like the, the pseudo third and fourth line. Yeah, all lines firing. That can get the energy and get a goal and then get the top guys fired up, you know? Like, oh, if Bobby's scoring, we got we to gotta start oh, scoring yeah. too, you know? Yeah. like, And he's the type of player that just like works and gets the puck to the net. And he's going to be the guy? In the playoffs, you need guys that get the puck to the net. Like Sam Bennett. You know, like he's a guy, he gets to the net, he gets pucks to the net. He's a hard worker. He's, he's also a, very, a bit of a menace. He's a first liner. Sam Bennett's nasty. But Bobby McMahon, I'm telling you, Bobby McMahon, if no, he goes no, to another no. another I'm team, not sold on second Bobby. line. I'm, I'm not sold on him. S- second line. On, a, no any other, on another way, team, second bro. line. You guys are gassing no. him up, bro. Maybe He's in, a third line in, player. In, in, in three, Seattle. I could see him in He's Seattle. He's a third line guy, bro. Third, third line. In three no years. way, bro. Three, three years. years. In three years. If, He's, but, what, how old is he now, though? He's 27 or 28. 26. He's going to be 30, bro. He's got to be 27. He's 26. I'll look him up real quick. Um... I think Robertson. I think that has it would more potential than McMahon. I think that 100%. his story right now 100%. is helping him. If he were to move to a different team, he would lose some of that mojo, some of that drive, some of the motivation. Like he is on a flight. Like he's taking off. Right? You don't want to interrupt that. Mm. So I, I think yes, he's doing great and he's playing well. But if he were to move, he would stutter. I think he's a I think he's a late bloomer. I think that he 
is figuring out that he can score in the NHL and he can like move, like get around some guys and body, like get body position. And he's still just figuring it out. He's one of those players that didn't play through the high end systems to get those chances early. And it's paying off for him now that he's got this chance. And I think that he's going to be an impact player in the playoffs and the Leafs already extended him. So that's, I love that a great call of that instead of waiting for him to light it up in the playoffs or like do decent in the playoffs and then ask for more money and have to trade him or like let him go on waivers, like get claimed. I think that it's smart that they, they sign him to like a reasonable deal. Yeah, And I like that Bobby hopped on that. He's like, yeah, let's do it. Shows he's a team guy. Yeah. That's the exact type of thing I, I would expect from a guy like that who worked his way up. Mm-hmm. Right? What did he sign him for? Like 1.5, I think, yeah, or something reasonable. like that. Uh, yeah. He's 27, turns 28 in June. June 15th. In June. Okay. Uh, I also, about your nickname, Bobby Mick the Man. Yeah. It doesn't really roll off the tongue. I, I think you just got to go with Bobby the Man. Bobby I, the Man. I did Bobby McTriple in my skit. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so it's because well, he got a hat. Got a, yeah, Bobby Mc, Bobby I mean, McTriple. <laughs> McMahon already sounds cool, but the man. Bobby the Man. But I will. I like Bobby Mick the Man. I will say, <laughs> I will say, who called Domi Matthews Mark or oh. Matthews on the first line oh, yeah. of the season? Yeah. Start, start of the pod. Uh, yeah, 90 points. If they would have had it right, Keith would have had it right and listened to Chip on day one. Should have just traded Marner, got rid of that bum, and then put uh, Bert and uh, Domi up the top line. Eh? Okay, so Bert on that. Dome saucer. On, on that note. Sauce. On that note, <laughs> I want you guys. I already had this prepped, actually, so it leads in perfectly. I want you guys to guess the top five leading point getters on the Leafs like who's leading in points on the Leafs uh, Marner Matthews Nylander yep 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 um, Tavares Tavares gotta be up there yep Tavares and Bertuzzi or Domi five. I'd say or like is there a defenseman no no, no I don't think no no, no. I know, so you guys can't look I'd say who's on the second one I mean Bertuzzi and Domi were both sort of slow to get going but I'll just throw Domi for, as the fifth guy Morgan Riley is the fifth guy. Ah, I was Riley. Yeah. So it's I it's it. Nylander, then Matthews by one point difference. Yeah. Then Marner. Yeah. JT. JT. Then, Morgan, then Morgan, Riley. Morgan Riley. You know what? I wanted to say Riley, but I just I haven't watched a lot of Leafs, and I was like, I haven't really seen him like in the top points. So yeah, he's not even on the first line of, power play. Hey, what is Keith but, doing? But here's bro? the thing. I bet you Riley has tons of assists. What's the stat line? I'm not sure. How, it's it's, it's got to be like what 45 assists. How, it's got 51 we, points. So how do we not yeah, have him 45 on first assists, line like power play, bro? Who we're playing Liljegren on our first line power play? I cannot believe that. Have they been? Yeah, last game they had Riley Lil, Liljegren. Lil, Liljegren on the first line power play. No, just Liljegren or whatever his name is. Just him. Hmm. Oh, and then four forwards. I to me. I think, yeah, they did four forwards. To me, Liljegren's over in over his head. Yeah, I don't know. But that that wasn't my I do end know. to this. I do know. I've been watching it. If and it's terrible. <laughs> okay. Well, if you, I were to tell you, oh, I, I was, I was talking close. about a topic. I, I was close. Uh, 44 assists and seven goals. So that's why he didn't. He wasn't standing out as uh, the fifth guy. Okay, so the what Leafs. Hay- what does Hayden want to talk about? The Leafs are. Talk about what Hayden wants. To talk about. Oh, well, I was, I was tuning in. I don't get to I just, talk about what I want to talk about. I didn't finish my sh- my thing here. I didn't finish my thing here. If you were. Neither did I. <laughs> But let's go. We'll talk about your stuff. Oh, All right, yeah. let's take turns, boys. Let's take I'll turns. sit in the corner and do my little corner talking over sit here. Tur- you you keep your mouth shut until we get to Minute Madness, okay? Yeah, exactly. That's where I, okay. He's chippy. Be quiet over here. You I, can be mad about Lilligren. I, I, I respect that. I like your fancy words, funny man. I don't think he deserves to be on the top power play either. Thank you. That's all I needed. <laughs> <laughs> Chippy's, Chippy's past his bedtime here. Did you, or something. Did you have more, though? <laughs> I was looking up stats. Lilligren does not deserve to be first line power play. If Coach Chippy was on the bench, who would it be? It'd be Riley and Would you go four forwards or four forwards? Four forwards. Okay. And Riley. Morgan Riley, who's yes. yeah. the fifth player leading points on the team. Yeah. He's got a bunch of apples. You want how, is, like, how does it make sense to not have him I that... think they've just been experimenting, so they know what they got. There's messing around and yeah. maybe, maybe, I don't even think Lil Jurgen should be like in the lineup. No, maybe Riley is secretly injured and they're working with Lilgren to kinda do some ascent management. Mm. Right? Well, and like, I would yeah. even argue like put on McCabe instead of Lil Jurgen. I can't believe like, oh, it. Oh McCabe's I don't know been why nasty, yeah. Lilgren's even in the mix. 
Mm. Well, I guess they're looking for a good quarterback, right? A guy that can move the puck. And, uh, yeah, that's what is, I just, is that loaded green? I don't no. see it out of him. I think he makes a lot of costly errors. All and... right. Yeah, I could, agree. I could agree with that. I don't think that he should be a regular staple on the power play for the first unit at least. Like a second unit maybe. Maybe they're just trying him to see – if he's worth doing the second unit in the playoffs, you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I, what I wanted to get to here mm-hmm. was if I were to tell you that, so you know the top five, that's the big five on the Leafs, right? Uh-huh. If I were to tell you they're the leading point getters, then the next two is Max Domi, Tyler Batuzzi. Would you think that the Leafs would be finishing higher than ninth place right now if I told you that at the beginning of the year? What do you mean? If all of the Leafs' best players are leading in points and the two guys they acquired – Fair, yeah. Would you say that the Leafs would be like in the top five? Yeah. You know, like I would, I would I, say so. Yes, I'd be like if everyone's yeah. performing. Yeah, and the two guys they went and got are each yeah. above forty points. Yeah, or like almost at forty points, then that should be a lock for top and, five in the NHL. Yeah, and where are they at? Ninth, ninth, and okay. probably like they could well, drop to a wild card spot. Still, uh, no. But like it's also, it's, what's it like called? it's expected because Domi and Bertuzzi. Like, the other third and fourth line don't play. So you're getting zero offense from your third right. and fourth. So well, Domi played on the third line for a while, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He was so there for a while. So did Bert. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, like, the other guys are just subbing in and out. Like, you got Gregor, Reeves, mm-hmm. Camp. Uh, Matt Nice. Yeah, it's Nyes. a carousel down it's there. It's a carousel. Yeah. It's like, Nice was up on the first. He's on the third. Nice has been everywhere, man. Nice has been everywhere. He needs to get going. Which is interesting because Robertson hasn't. Has he made it past the third line this year? Maybe like a couple stints on the second line with yeah, Tavares. He has many looks. Yeah, but like Robertson scored a nice goal set up for Matthews the other night. Mm-hmm. Ripped yeah, it top saying. shelf. Robertson should yeah. be up, getting tested on that first line. Yeah, I want to see Robertson in the bumper spot on the power play. I would love to see Robertson on the second unit. Yeah. Keith, you actually use Robertson properly because he's going to go away from our team. And score forty goals in the first season that he goes. <laughs> I tell you this right now. Wild. Yeah. I'm telling well, that's, you, bro. That's what I was was worried about happening with Bobby McMahon. Uh. All you gotta do is look at if the brother can score forty. You don't think the younger brother that's mm. like, can do the same thing? Like it's just different not, builds, not different style he player. Scores every time he's in the lineup. Not always, dude. Pavel Bure was just a machine, and Valerie Bure. It's pretty invisible out there. And then you got Paul Korea. Look at the Hughes brothers. Look at the Yo, small brothers. Oh, I know that. Yeah. So, But you look at Paul Korea. Paul Korea was number nine. His brother, Steve Korea, wore number 18 because he said, I'm going to be twice as good as my brother. <laughs> Anyone remember Steve Korea? I didn't know no. he existed. No, but time. Robertson. What about, what about Joe Sackick? Every time in the lineup, he's scoring. Right? Joe Sackick was a machine. His younger brother, Brian Sackick, mm-hmm. didn't crack the, the league. Interesting. Look at the whole brothers. Gretzky. The Hall brothers. Gret- oh, we could. That was just the obvious one. <laughs> the Richard brothers. Stahl. Andre, Richard, and. The Sutters. Seven. Seven guys in the Chuck, NHL. Could Chuck brothers. Oh, those are some bros. Yeah. But wait, who's the youngest and who's the better? Is the youngest better? Brady and Matt. I think they're pretty equal. I think it depends on. He, like, it's not a universal thing that they would oh, be good or points. bad, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's just, I'm it just depends saying. on the player, like, and the, the per, who they are as a person. Yeah. If they're. No, but yeah. I, I will agree that Robertson is a skilled player. Yeah, like, he, like, he scores every time he gets a slot. He gets benched, and then he goes out and scores, and then yeah. they take him out of the lineup. He, he's, yeah. he's every pretty, time. It's he's like, I don't pretty get skilled. It. I'm not a, a coach, and I don't know why they're holding him back. He, he was playing on the first line when he got hurt last year. Mm-hmm. Remember the yep. start of the season? He was yep. lighting it up. With yeah, they Matthews. were giving him a shot. Yeah, him with Matthews and Marner. Mm-hmm. Too much well, talent. Well, I think they wanted Nice to have that chance too. You know, yeah. Yeah. but like, but they should have got a goal. They the should have rotated them. Games. They should have rotated them. Like, yeah, yeah. Throw Robertson on the first line for a bit. Put Nice on the third. And then swap them every like. Yeah, that's what I'm games. saying. Just give him a little chance. Give him a spark. Cause yeah. he could be the guy that gets six goals in the playoff series, and you're like, oh, what? Yeah, like where'd that come from? Yeah, it's like like everyone that doesn't know him would be like, who is this guy? Kind of like a Stankoven situation. Like, Jason has a brother? Jason Robertson has a brother? I didn't know that. Yeah, Gee, yeah. show. Like all those Dallas fans out there not yeah. even realizing it. Dallas, um, Dallas is going to pick him up. You think so? Oh, that would be oh, sick. Oh, yeah. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> brother they? duo, yeah. Stankoven, Robertson, Robertson. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, nasty. nasty line. Yeah, Dallas is a is a is going to be a problem in yeah. the playoffs. Yeah, so Stankoven with 14 games played, 6 goals, 5 assists, 11 points. Welcome to the NHL, eh? <laughs> what, NHL, welcome what Stankoven. Is he at? What is he at? Six, uh, 14 games, 6 goals, 5 assists, 11 points. 
and almost a point per game. And almost. he's probably not. He's not getting first line minutes. I don't think because Dallas no. is pretty stacked. He started. He's playing so with. Uh, is he playing with Jamie Benn? I think. Yeah, I think they probably started him on like, like a second the slash third, third line. They probably started him on the third line, and they're like, "Yeah, this guy is nasty," and they put him up to second. I'm sure. Yeah, I I was listening to a podcast um, with Daryl Belfry, oh, and nice. they were talking about Stan Coven and how the way that players are managed in the NHL yep. is such a determining factor on prospect success. And Dallas is doing like a uh, amazing job with Stan Coven by letting them play with not like a uh, like there's a difference between coaching yeah and like mentoring right and like putting him on a line with Jamie Ben to be a mentor and to like yeah, yeah. shelter some of his like unfamiliarities with the NHL and like gotcha. not literally teach him too much but just be like a guiding force on that line with him you know it's, is it like uh nick felino trying to teach uh Bedsy and yeah, Bedsy, that's not working too well <laughs> and Bedsy is just like yeah Bedsy's like he's just like no no bro. you're just too slow yeah uh really <laughs> like it's so funny that's like because Bedsy's a stud dog. i know but yeah, it, Bedsy's not it, it is funny like, who are you gonna take advice from like if you're if you're bedard like he knows his game obviously he is gonna be listening and like picking up a few things mm-hmm but do you think he, he ever thinks like Nick, relax? Like, uh, yeah. you see what I did in the world? I might have to do, <laughs> I have to do I'm scoring all of our goals. Man. Is Felito sitting there like, yeah, I, I got to stay on this team for five more years. I don't have enough time to teach you. Yeah, yeah. Darts like, Magic's buddy. Like, I'm already averaging a point per game is, this it, year, buddy. He like, re- relax, Dad. I made the NHL. Like, let me just do my yeah. thing. Let me fly. Hey, let me spread my wings and fly. Like, because I don't think Nick Felino is going to uh, hit the brakes. Uh, 10 feet in from the blue line, pull the puck back, bait the defender's stick, then tap it through, and then backwards cross over spin off. And you're like, he, N- Felino's not telling Betsy to do that. Yeah. Right? No. He's, he's no, not giving him that type the, of advice. Just put it in the corner, Polly. You know, just going to put it in the corner, <laughs> just, you know? Drive wide. Eh? Yeah. Send, it, send it low, drive wide. And I then think it's it. a bit different, too, <laughs> because Dallas is operating at such a high level right now. Like, they're yeah. playing so well without Stankoven. They don't need. It's not like the Leafs whenever was, they bring a guy up and it's like, we need you to be like amazing. Just, yeah. I was worried right they wouldn't away. bring him up. Yeah. I was worried they wouldn't bring him up. But like Nyes did. last year didn't play a game for us. Yeah, they're like, we need you right now. First line with Matthews in the playoffs. Well, that's wild. Yeah, whereas with Stanky, he's getting a good yeah. opportunity to prove himself but not be like too much pressure, you know? like Yeah. That's, so the way that the teams manage the prospects – when they're getting them in games in the NHL, is like he's going to be their best player. It's interesting. He's, he's going to be one of their top guys for sure. I'm just looking at his uh, minutes. He had 15 minutes and then 15 minutes. Then That's nothing. 16, yeah. So he's probably second. Like third. if he was getting 22, 23 minutes, he's not going to get that right off the bat though, right? Like Marner and Matthews getting yeah. 24 minutes a game. You got to earn that. Well, but... it works perfectly because Jamie Ben is still an effective NHLer, yeah. but probably at reduced minutes, he can benefit from that. By, like, just having enough energy and stuff, you know, for night after night while still getting to play with, like, a young stud who's up and coming. Like, it, it balances each other out well. What do you think our ice time is in men's league? Oh. Like, for one person, like, what, each what, of ours per game? Yeah, what, what do you have? It's only 10-minute periods. Yeah, I know. Well, in, well, okay, 10, 20, 15 minutes. Like, half? Well, you're on for just two lines. If there's yeah. two lines, yeah, you're on for half. You get 15-minute uh, yeah. ice time. That's not – I need 20. I need 20 I need to really more. perform. Yeah, I, need I need 22 more. minutes. I need play, apparently, I need, I need to play minutes t- to get. Let's try to play 22 minutes in a men's league game. In a really, it's in a two 30. 18 minute periods. So it's 36 minutes total, right? Yeah. Well, that yeah, I guess that's the thing. We're not playing a 60 minute game. We're playing a 36 minute game. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like I, I think that so, on average, it's probably like 14 to. 18. I wish it was 10, 10, 12. Yo, if we had three 20 minute periods with only 10 guys, we would get 30 minutes voice time each. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to try it. I want to try play three twenties with ten guys. Oh, We'd have to get the other team to that agree. Would be... That'd be sick. Yo, I would love it though, because I like I'll finish a game and I won't be like exhausted or anything. Like I'm, st- I guess still got energy to go. Okay, well, that's yeah. the problem then. That's the, <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> finish the game exhausted last night. I was exhausted. Yeah. All right. I'll go. I'll go harder. I was next exhausted. Game. I'll go harder. Bro. I didn't play very well, but all oh, right. But I was not. Um. Do you think Matthews is going to hit 70 goals, guys? I wanted to ask you that. Uh, like I would have said yes like a couple of weeks ago. Now it's it's seeming like... What's he got, 10 more games? He needs a hattie next game. Yeah, he needs a hattie next game. Like, to, which is insane. Yeah, to like get the, him fired up again. Cause like, I th- literally one hat, like one hat trick for Matthews, and then he's like he just needs like not even a goal per game to hit it, you know? Yes. Goal but per game's crazy. I, yeah. Yeah, he's at, he's at 58, though. 
So he needs a Hattie to get the 61. And then basically a goal per game after that. He didn't score the other night? I don't know. I'm just no, looking at his stats here. Oh, oh no. Yeah, he set up He set up Robertson. Yeah, he, he needs some empty netters. Donating his assists. He's donating it. <laughs> Apparently, he had 57 goals and not a single empty netter. Which is season. wild. Yeah. That is ridiculous. Well, I want to see Zach Hyman's stat on that. <laughs> yeah, Hyman's got some empties for sure. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he was he... the guy with empty netters in Toronto. He's yeah. put every empty netter away. <laughs> yeah. So, and he's basically is with uh, McDavid, too. I, I think yeah, 70, 70 seems out of the question now. I think off. I think sixty five is probably. I'm rooting. For, I'm rooting for it, but he's he's probably going to finish at like like mid like almost there, like sixty six, sixty seven. I, I think if he what really did McDavid get last year, fifty oh. four. Yeah, I was over sixty. Yeah, it's over Matthews. Yeah, because yeah. he decided to score last year. Yeah, I mean, David last year he's like I think I'll win the uh, scoring title this year. <laughs> yeah, and now he's just like I'm going for Art Ross is mine. Yeah. Rocket Richard's mine. Yeah. He's like, I want that rock. The heart's yeah. mine. Yeah. I'll take it all, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, McDavid was insane. But even this year, he's insane, too. Well, so, but he definitely, last year, was just like, I, I'm just going to score goals this season because I, I want to do that once. Mm. Right? And then he went back to his game of, like, just. Crosby did that one year. Yeah. He's like, I'm just going to win this. Uh, Let me just win it real quick. 50, yeah. He scored, like, 50-something. Yeah. Right? Well, let's get that Rocket Richard trophy. <laughs> I always love that. Love that trophy. Used to always go to Beret when I was younger. I'd cheer for him to get it. He was your favorite player, right? Was, and Spezza. Was. Yeah. And then, yeah, Spezza. Was well, what does that feel like, being the leading scorer in the NHL? Like, that, like, you know how much swagger that is? Like, you know what Matthews is feeling when he's just, like, 57 goals, like, top scorer in the league? Like, like that, 10 the goals, The league too. is stacked, bro. It, yeah. it, it must feel good when Sam Reinhardt and Zach Hyman are two guys chasing you because he knows. He's like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> If yeah. they get close, I'll just score a few more. Right? Like, what is it? What, yeah, what's... It's like he's not worried about Reinhardt and Hyman. The, the, Reinhardt the, got fifty, eh? It's an anomaly that those guys are there. It's wild. They're just they're they're pigeons. They're pi- <laughs> right. Zach Hyman isn't a pigeon. No, dude. They're they're Sam Reinhardt's been lights out all year. Though. Yes, but they're hanging out in front. They're of They're fifty the... goals. They're not pigeons. Yes, oh, but Reinhardt's they're hanging out in front expect... of the net. They're hanging out in front <laughs> like, of the net, just I... picking up the no one would crumbs. Bet dude, that they're picking up crumbs. Reinhardt they're garbage collectors. They are. Be at fifty. Like, yeah, that's crazy. I'm... Okay. <laughs> They're elite pigeons, all right? Elite pigeons, I like that. They got a real big wingspan. They <laughs> they're got like, the bigger bigger wings. They're they're, they're elite falcons. <laughs> no, I'll give them falcons. I'll give them falcons. But let, turkey like, vultures, vultures. They're vultures. Yeah. Look where they are birds of prey. All right, you yeah. look where they're getting all their goals. Mm. They're not going coast to coast. I doubt Hyman has even stick handled before a single goal he scores. <laughs> he bangs them in. He Bro. bangs them in. They're there. Bang, bang, bang. Or they get bounced off a of sticking in. Mm-hmm. All right. That's the skit, bro. I'm gonna do one. He turns around off his back and in. <laughs> yeah. Tap in. Hyman scores. His sticks up. He dropped his stick. It hit his stick and goes in yeah. as he's picking it up. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh shoot! Oh, it went in. Yeah. Off his head and in. Off yeah. his pants and in. <laughs> That's oh, gold. Bro. He doesn't even know he scored. He's just standing there. He's like waving it off his head. <laughs> There's another one for Hyman. Hey, he yeah. drops his stick, bends over, goes off his button in. Yeah. Forty. Had to be Himes. Had to be. Hymes. 50, the big 50. Another one. Another, Wait, another Wait, highlight reel, Hymer. <laughs> I'm kidding. They, obviously, they're skilled. It takes skill to get 50. Yeah. No, yeah. Hyman but. was, you wouldn't, he would, couldn't shine in Toronto because he was. Hyman had, he was coming up. He was great. And every year he got a little better. Every, and like he hounded the puck. He was a great player. The Leafs just got rid of him because they wouldn't be able to afford him. Yes. That's all. Yeah. Right? Yeah, he and they, that was back then, and now he's scoring even way more than he was. How about the Connor but, Brown situation? But he there? wouldn't get fifty in Toronto. Is he? He's back in uh, Edmonton, right? Same with Corey he, he Perry. Had scored a goal in like oh, he like, got his first goal in like all the whole season or like something. Two seasons. Yeah, it was like, whoa, years ago. That's yeah. wild. Yeah, it was big. It was, considering <laughs> how good he was in Toronto, he was a twenty-plus goal guy. Mm-hmm. If I go an entire men's league season without putting a goal in, I'm considering hanging him up. And the men's uh, yes. league is only twenty games. <laughs> yes, uh, I don't get eighty-two seasons, eighty-two games. Uh, yeah, eighty-two, 82 seasons. seasons, eighty-two games. Imagine <laughs> eighty. Imagine going eighty-two games without putting one in. Whew. That's like four years. I couldn't imagine. No, like you, then you just convince yourself you cannot score. Yeah, like, I would like, be convinced. Head, yeah, if I went eighty-two games, I would be. I would just be like, all right, I'm just gonna 
play wing. I'll get on the boards. I'll make sure I get the puck out of the zone. Even like, Roman, I'll just pick something that to do. Back in the day, even Roman Polak would get a, like a, a few goals a year. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm blaming my goal slump right now on my 65 flex intermediate stick that I can I'll, I'll, use. We'll have to upgrade yet. Hey, isn't it crazy? There's some guys like men's league players that they're like, oh, if if I played a full season, I could probably bang one or two in. There, right. There's people that think that. Yeah. What? Hmm? Who? In the NHL. Oh, you don't. No, you just hear, like, men's league. Like, there's probably people listening. Oh. The thought has crossed my mind. Oh, when I, I was younger. One in. I'd get a, <laughs> are you kidding me? I would, like, if I was playing with Matthews. That's why we, we talked about this already. But, but would you. How many points, realistically, if I, okay, if I got the same amount of minutes. Yeah. Playing with Matthews and Marner all season. But would you? But would you? Because you'd probably, like, after a game. I'm saying. Coach I'm, would, no, I'm guaranteed the minutes. Like, you were on lock guaranteed. on that. Exactly. I'm guaranteed the minutes. I'm guaranteed the power play. Yeah. Yeah. I'm putting up 25 points. No? Am I, is that crazy to say? I think that just by being on the ice with them, you could put a potato there. And uh, that's what points. I'm saying. Yeah. I just sit by the net and tap. Like, yeah. Like, if I hung around the net on a power play, I'd bang some in. Mm. Yeah. Well, at least four, three goals? Get, four yeah, goals. 20, 25 points if you're just on the power play alone. Like, you don't even play the whole game. You're just on the power play with them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> The yeah. Kind of, you, it would, it would, like you can't get work. You You'd think, be tired. You wouldn't you be able to keep up. up like, uh, we're talking like guaranteed first line minutes. Though. Minus 50. Matthews, Marner. Minus, yeah. minus 75. <laughs> but you did get like a few goals out there or something, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 25 points with a negative 70 like, goal only, difference. If only we could test this. Like, if only I, I always wanted a game. Yeah. Like a real game. Ugh. I for, I have just always wanted f- to grab some random men's league player and just put him in an NHL preseason game <laughs> just to see the stark difference. Like, how quickly – don't tell anyone. Mm-hmm. Don't tell anyone it's a men's league player. How quickly could the people watch me be like, what's that guy? Who's that guy? Why is he so much faster than them? <laughs> Bro. Who is that guy? Uh, but, like, yeah. could you – how how quickly could you tell on his first stride? Like Joel. What if you put Joel in, in like, a pre-game, yeah. preseason game? But Joel's, like, a good men's That's league player. That's what I'm player, saying. Right? Like, how quickly would you be able to tell that Joel's not supposed to be in the <laughs> – <laughs> yeah, he's in shape. He's in great shape. He would be. He's a stud. Okay, so that's the other thing. It, could you, if you took an average men's league skater, I think instantly you'd see the stride does not match up. Yeah, yeah. But like that guy can't in... skate, right? And then the pucks are just bouncing off his stick. Like, take the best player in Barry men's league right now. Yeah, who would that be? Joel. Uh, Joel. <laughs> Tay. Well, Tay. Tay would be up there. Yeah, you guys have two of the one of the best players. Like. Yeah, probably ha- like top five best players in that league, from what I remember. I haven't played this year though. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, Jeremy, hey, interesting. You? Yeah, it's the four of you. Not, not me anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I've, oh, I've, I've gone off the rails the last <laughs> little bit too myself. I don't know what it's been, but I have not been playing my best game, bro. What do you guys think? It's do you think stick. that I'm blaming the sixty-five intermediate stick? I'm how many points do you think Chip would put up in an NHL game getting first-line minutes and with Matthews and Marner? Yeah, it's got to be twenty. In a full season, like Matthews and Marner are getting I think, 100. They're I getting think 100. Chippy, You're in. Like, what has Nice got? I think you'd collapse after half the season because it's too many games. You know, no, I'm, I'd, I'd get locked in. I'm on the road to a Betsy build. I'm like personal training every day. <laughs> I love it. All right, before we wrap this up, I just wanted to say big thanks to Patrick. He donated 50 bucks on uh, Ford. You oh. didn't have to do that. Uh, yeah. really and he, you, he said Thank that you. he he loves everything we're doing. Keep it up, and he hopes we turn this into a full on hockey brand one day. We, awesome. we put it into a uh, new webcam. Yeah, yeah, we bought a new webcam. With yeah, that, I was looking at that. <laughs> we, we, got, we got a new camera for the pod. Where'd you have that? Quality. We're trying to get it 4K, and then it didn't work. And then I got it working. Oh, the 4K is Hopefully, working. yeah. You so you'll that? know if you're watching this. If it... <laughs> yeah, you'll see us clear. Uh, we got it off of Amazon. Chip, you really wanted to know. <laughs> Everything's well, off yeah, Amazon. I need a webcam, so I'm mm. just looking at that. Thinking. Yeah, I can, we can tell you which one it is. And a uh, big shout out to all you the YouTube. Yeah, you can take it home and then bring it back. And we set it up and you take it home, you bring it back. Yeah, <laughs> we'll just end up staying at home. And like, Where's the webcam, Chip? Yeah. Oh, Oh shoot, guys, I forgot it. Whoops. Um, and also a big thanks to uh, the YouTube members. Oh, yeah. We got a, big got a few. Applause. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you all, all you puck daddies out there. 
that's going to do it for this episode. Wait, you have to really sell the members. They get to listen to the pod a day early on yes. YouTube. They get to that's see it real. before anyone else yeah. and comment before anyone else. And you get a little uh, Puck Daddy icon next to your name. You can get special emojis. Or you get badges to badges, too. Yeah, and you'll get first access to, like, new merch drops and stuff like that. And do that. Coach Chippy will personally come to each of your birthday parties. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, let's yeah, end the pod okay, there. Yeah. The pod there. <laughs> um, disclaimer. I, I don't like I, birthday I, parties. You know, not a birthday party <laughs> no, guy. I'm joking. I don't mind. Gonna change you can hire him for your bar mitzvah, though. Yeah. <laughs> With my bar mitzvahs all day. <laughs> Gonna be <laughs> me, Coach Chippy Nazia. Feed the poor and heal the <laughs> I'll be at your bar mitzvah today. <laughs>